Well, good morning or good afternoon. How are you doing? My name is Lester Garrett, Director of Delivery. Today we'll be talking about how to import your data and or create geo maps within Burst. I have over 18 plus years of BI experience. I am Burst certified and I'm a 23 year retired veteran of the Air Force. So let's get right into the demo. We don't have much time. I want to take you right into Burst. And what you see here is, um, again, this is Burst, I will, which I've already pre-logged in. And you have a bunch of containers, if you will. Containers are considered your storage space, you know, your secure location where you can actually import your data, store your data, and, uh, and run multiple instances within the departments or different locations. So let's add a space. We're going to add a space for the demo. And keep in mind, we're going to be importing from our little desktop. And we're going to use what's called automatic data modeling, which is a true power burst, which allow us to basically create an ETL model from start to finish in a matter of minutes. So we're going to give a name, import data and geo maps. Perfect. Simple name. Okay, done. <clears throat> so again, I basically created within the cloud. This is a total end end solution in verse within the cloud. To maneuver around and, and um, create it. Now I have four steps to go through. Again, we're going to upload a flat file from our local desktop. This desk, this, this a flat file is going to be less than 20 megabytes in size. Again, this is for your short, quick burst um, or demos, if you will. And if you the security is an issue or you have a, a fairly large database, what you want to do is use our burst connect. That's, in other words, we have a live connection to your existing data warehouse in or data mart or SQL database or Oracle, whatever, just to name a few. So we're going to connect to an access database from our local workstation. Hit open. And keep in mind it can be a zip file. Uh, CSV, Excel spreadsheet, text file, etc. We're going to process automatically because we want first to seamlessly do all of our joins um, based on our table structure. It's going to quickly identify my primary keys, secondary keys, indexes, and and do the most common or uh, best linking from what it can um, do for uh, out of the box. But, but we can always go back and maneuver and translate or change our linking if need be. But in most cases, if your database is it's, it's okay, it's fairly clean, um, Burst does an excellent job in creating a quick out-of-the-box demo of in, um, using your sample database. So they are, it is being uploaded into the cloud. It's been uploaded in a secure environment. Um, very little maintenance to do on your side because again, this is all this is all floating everything into a, uh, a virtual environment in the cloud, in which now you don't need all the manpower, admin support, etc., to to manage the system. So here we go. Now this is created. It's gone through my database or my database fields and identify what um, measures or calculations um, it, it, it can best propagate for you. So we're going to turn these two off. Amount and probability. Just use the expected amount for this particular example. Hit continue. Now it's going to go out and process the data. We're going to send queries back to the database, creating all my tables, again my joins. It's going to create my data model. I'm going to my raw tables on the left side. It's going to create my fact table, my schema. It's also going out and creating my dashboards. About four dashboards um, out of the box can which is the best guess them for you. Obviously, we can go back and maneuver, but it's a quick out of the box. Let's get up and running. Let's just see what kind of data we have to work with. And do all this back. So here you go. We have four dashboards. So again, this particular tutorial is going to be about creating geo maps. So we're going to replace this total expected amount by building state province for geo map. Let's do it. Now, no longer do you have to log out and log back in because we have three solutions here. We have an admin tool where you do your data modeling, the environment where you're going to build your reports. In your dashboard. So again, this is a total end to end solution. I'm going to click on designer and again, I'm curious then, um, 
challenged, if you will, in the Uber, it's going to let me see a particular field or field on my left hand side of my clinic area. So on my right side, I'm going to build a report. Again, with a simple report with just a quick, um, simple formula, and we'll be done. Okay, it's not going to take that long. So as you can see here, I have the ability to, to open up any of my different attributes for my database. So I can just double click on state province. Because again, I want to create a geo map um, with some totals. And we're going to bring in amount here as a measure. Load date, sum. You know, all, all this is created on the fly just by importing my data from myself as an access spreadsheet from my desktop. And you can see very quick response time. Keep in mind what I'm demo demonstrating is from a wireless laptop. Um, again, I've imported my, my data into the cloud. So let's <clears throat> let's make some changes here. I'm going to bring up open up my pivot table because I'm going to insert a formula and then we're going to minimize and rank this particular uh, solution. So I'm just going to right click on my measure. And we're going to add a quick expression. No big deal here. We're going to call it D rank. Okay, we want to rank D rank. Okay. And we're going to make sure that it's a dimension. And we're going to keep it simple. We're going to go and select our database field. Okay, everything will just drag and drop and click. Um, again, this is very seamless behind the scenes. I'm going to go down to my rank tile and, and drag in D rank. How about that? Okay, we want to do a D rank. Let's check below here. Go. <clears throat> I'm going to also add my amount. Okay, there we go. I'm going to add my amount. Load date. Straight over. <clears throat> Perfect. Let's give it a chance to load again. Again, I'm on my wireless. Let's go. Come on. Okay, there we go. And we're going to close that off with the parentheses. Complete our formula. We're going to save it. <coughs> Perfect. Save it again. And now we want to rank it. <coughs> Sorry. Do a filter by the top 10. Okay, here's my measure. Here's my expression. And we'll just drag it down and add it to a row so we can do it very quickly. And all I have to do is basically left click on it, filter, and want to less than equal to 10, very simple filter. So again, I want to see D rank less than equal to 10. Save. Just want to see a smaller data set. All I'm trying to do, watch what happens here on my report. Perfect. Now, and now we're going to quickly sort it. How about that? Left click. We do a sort in ascending order. Oop, on D rank. Same. Hit save. And now we should see our top 10 by rank. Perfect for that. Now all we have to do is add our chart. So we're going to close the pivot control. We're going to add our chart. Again, this is, we're creating a simple geo map after importing our data. We're going to go down and select chart type, which is geo. Perfect. We want to see the billing state. And we want to see the amount of the series. Okay. Now we've got to change a couple things real quick and our map will be ready to go. Click on other. We're going to scroll down, and we want to turn on high background grid. We don't want to see the grid behind this. Let me just open it and see what I'm doing here. Okay. And we want to data map to be by E. We want to change the world map to uh, country map. The last thing we need to do is change our from data field to United States. There we go. And we hit apply, and our map should appear just above our table. Give it a chance to load. We should have 10 different colors. Close. Close. And look at that. 
Okay, you got you got a top ten by color code. Again, the lower the color, the lower the totals. The darker the color, the higher the total. And you can see we can hover over and see the color. So let's hide our table, and we're about to wrap this up here. Report. I'm going to show table unselect. I don't want to see my table right below. Hit save. And there we have GeoMax. If you wanted to see all the color, which I think you probably would want to see, we can quickly click on our filter just to show you, and we can remove it. Let's hit delete. Save, and now we should have more colors within our geo. More vibrant. Perfect. And as you hover over the state, you see the different colors. So let's see what we're done. We're basically going to hit save. We'll put it in our private folder, give it a name, we'll say March 4th, save. So all we have to do now is go back to our dashboard and replace the re resisting dash let. It's going to take a few seconds and we're done. And then you can see here that it's very simple to maneuver, to drag and drop, to create a geo map on the fly. From in, again, let's take it, started, what, five, six minutes ago. We've imported data, joins, created a report, and now we're going to massage our dashboard. So basically, we're going to right click on the expected amount, which is our page name, edit. I want to edit this page. I'm going to replace the total expected amount here that with a geo map. It's going to be very simple. So I'll just locate our existing dashboard that we just created. I know it's in my private folder. There it is, March 4th. Watch how easy this is. I want to take and drag and drop to replace <clears throat> the existing dashlet. Perfect. Save it, and we're done. And again, just a matter of seconds. It's done. Very interactive. There's a link that's embedded within our dashboard, and there you go. We can hover over and see our total amounts by state. Okay. Back here. So, hopefully you enjoyed the demo. I gave a short demo on how to import your data um, within Burst. Also showed you how to build a quick geo map on the fly. So, if you like what you saw, guys, just give us a call and click on the link below. That way, you can engage in one of our concierge services. My name is Lester Garrett, the Director of Delivery. Looking forward to speaking with you soon.